my advice for anybody wanting to make a feature film is don't do it. No, I'm joking. It, it honestly was one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. Well, we're fingers crossed the horse is coming. If you've done any kind of work for some kind of production, you'll know how difficult it is. But with a feature film, I would say just multiply that by 100. Jared, after we're done blocking, 10 minutes to set up all the mics. Yeah. There's so many moving parts, food, transportation, sleeping arrangements, props, somebody to make sure that the script is there, pens, paper, gear, focus pulling, lighting. We need to send somebody probably to get the, the crash pad if we want to have them fall down pretty hard. Things will go wrong. On our first day when all of our actors are coming in, we are doing our second table read with them, our wardrobe fittings, and our horseback riding. I get a call from the location we're supposed to be shooting at for the next two days and find out that we can't film there due to high winds. And I remember just like almost dropping to my knees and wanting to throw up. I've never been so stressed because I had all these people counting on me. Not only would I be letting them down, I'd be letting Joey down because I sourced all these locations and I felt so terrible. And the way that our schedule worked, we only had 10 days to film this feature film. We couldn't change anything because we had different actors, secondary actors coming on certain days and we couldn't push anything around. At first I was so upset and I remember telling Joey the news and he was upset and I thought our whole film right then and there was over before it even started. So I looked at Joey and I said, we can be upset, which is not going to solve anything, or we can figure out what we can do the best that we can to fix this. I started trying to figure out what scenes, even if they weren't ready, who actors that we had that were close by that could maybe come in early the next day. This is at 6 p.m. and we began shooting the following day. We've already blocked all of our scenes for the next two days at the locations. We had the actors, the props, everything set up, ready to go. That is what making a film is all about. I remember people on set always just saying, they're like, wow, you guys are so good at rolling with all the punches because so many things have gone wrong. We had no other choice. We just thought, we're like, okay, well, we're here. We got to do this. This is our one shot to make our dreams happen. So let's just go for it. Just keep fixing it. We're like, okay, we can't shoot that scene now. How do we change that scene to fix it? Okay, we can't do this. How do we change that to fix it? When you hit a roadblock, you're like, okay, not that way in the maze, then we go a different way. And that was the mentality that we had. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely nothing to fear. We will take control of this situation. One of the best interviews I've ever heard was about what makes a great director. And the answer was, it's not about their style of storytelling. It's none of that. It's when a problem occurs, which inevitably it will occur on a film set, is how do they fix it? You have to be confident with those changes and you just have to keep moving forward. It's easy to get defeated. It's easy to get let down and want to give up and throw in the towel, but it's really all about being confident about the decision you make, whether it's right or wrong, and just keep moving forward. Damn, you are taller than. Look at this. Height difference here. It was, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> Scandinavia. It's honestly so weird meeting Joey because whether you know it or not, Joey and I have known each other since uh, the beginning of COVID because we both started doing product filmmaking at the same time and we would chat on the phone every single day, but we've actually never met in person. Joey's in Finland, I'm here in California, and we've talked pretty much every single day and people would think that we're crazy and they did think that we're crazy and we told them that we we're co-directing a feature film together and we've never met maybe a quarter of our gear or joey is i don't know what he's doing. i just let him do all the work i start filming bts and then make joey do everything a lot of people that are in the filmmaking industry are like oh co-directors how's that gonna work how are you guys gonna play in it honestly worked perfectly we supported each other. When one person was down, the other person picked them up. You know, we just split up tasks. It was amazing to watch Joey work when he'd block out scenes for certain shots. You know, 
like that. He looked like Doctor Strange doing all the possibilities like this. He'd be like running through it because we had to problem solve all the time. Come on! Come on! Yeah! 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 When Joey and I were kind of spitballing around the idea of making a film, I told Joey, I said, I will do a film with you, but it has to be a Western. Some of the best advice I've ever had was, if you don't enjoy watching it, don't make it, otherwise you're not gonna be inspired by it. And I told Joey, I, like, I wanna do a feature film. I want it to have action. I want it to have drama. I want it to have brutalities. I want it to be, you know, classic Western with a heist. And we just went after it and we started writing it. We had our co-writer Anders in on it with us and we just started shaping the story. And from there, I set off to do like all the props and wardrobe, sourcing so many different things to keep track of. I was making lists, spreadsheets. There's so many different spreadsheets. All this pre-production, Joey was looking for actors, he was sourcing more sponsors, and we really just came together as a powerhouse to make this possible. People would laugh if they knew how small our production was there in the film industry and how small our budget was. Our entire crew literally consisted of only three people that have ever been on a film production set, and then maybe five or six other people. You would be amazed on what we pulled off, and I can't wait to show all of you guys what this looks like because you wouldn't believe with our crew size, with how many locations we shot. This is an 80 minute film, and we were able to pull all of this together with just the people that we had. I had my dad helping on the set. I had my mom helping on the set. I had my fiance helping. I had her best friend. We had locals that were just fans of film helping out. We had to pull in so many favors. And that's one of the things that I recommend is don't feel like you're too big or too small to ask for help when you're creating your feature film. Skill. Yeah, I got it too. Uh -huh. This film, would not have been possible without our sponsors. One of the major sponsors that really helped make this happen was Irix Lenses. Their lenses that they lent us were amazing and perfect for the film to really capture the environment. There's these 150 foot redwood trees that we wanted to showcase and they have these perfect cinema wide lenses that are beautiful, sharp, the colors. And I wanted to showcase that environment because it's so important. There's so many Western films where, you know, they don't really show how severe the environment is. But if you really have read any books about that time, it was the environment that was killing and taking people's lives and the severity of how intense it was. And I wanted to showcase the environment as our sixth character. And these lenses allowed me to do it. We are doing such cool movements with them. And these shots look so amazing and I can't wait to share it with you. Perfect. Okay. Also, huge shout out to Nanlite being one of our sponsors on this and allowing to utilize their lights and all these different scenes. It really helped make the movie look so much more cinematic. The environments with their lights and combinations and how we were able to use them. And then in the saloon scenes to create a fire when we couldn't use a fire, every single sponsor, Artlist, and their SFX and their music making this vision come to life. And we couldn't have done it without all of our sponsors. But more importantly, we couldn't have done it without all of you. And I just wanna thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. What a worth it. Morning, sir. Good morning. 5 a.m. <laughs> Early birdie. Gets to work. Right now, our picture is locked. The color grading's happening. The VFX is happening. Our producers are happy with the picture lock. We're happy. There's so many things coming together. This moment feels so surreal in my life because I can look back to when I was six years old. And I remember watching this documentary about Steven Spielberg and how he became a film director. And I was so enamored by films and movies and going to the movie theaters. And when I saw that documentary, I thought to myself, I wanna make movies. I wanna be a film director and I wanna see my ideas come to life. E take one. The best part about filmmaking to me is coming up with an idea in your head and then seeing that come to life. 
from start to finish, this feature film started in October. We wrote the entire feature film. We sourced all the materials. We got the actors, the locations. We filmed this feature film in 10 days. Fast forward to this point, I never thought this was gonna happen. Most filmmakers I talk to that are in weddings or commercials, they wanna make movies, but it's such a threshold that's so hard to step into. And the reality is, is there's not much money in it when you're first starting, right? And it's such a huge risk. So I never thought it was gonna happen. I'm just so happy because a dream that I've had since I was a child coming to life. And not only is it a dream that I've had since I was a child, it's a dream that Joey's had since he was a child. And both of our dreams are coming to life and we got to do it together, which is one of the coolest things that honestly I could ever ask for. Whether it's good, whether this film is bad, we did it. Yeah, you guys are amazing. And then to our captains, huh? And then to our directors for me, Timothy here, want to thank you for watching this here movie. And I'm going to ride off into the sunset while uh, you guys enjoy the film. I'll see you later. <laughs>